really important that people in Canada know that cord blood donation is possible here. So Canadian Blood Services runs Canadian Blood Services Cord Blood Bank. So mothers in Vancouver, Edmonton, Brampton and Ottawa have the opportunity to donate their baby's cord blood. So cord blood is the blood that remains in the umbilical cord and placenta after the delivery of a healthy baby. Cord blood can be used to treat over 80 diseases and disorders, the most common things being blood cancers, so things like leukemia, lymphoma, and other disorders and diseases like aplastic anemia and other inherited diseases. Here in Ottawa, there was a young patient, Hillary, who is currently looking for a stem cell donor. Um, Hillary actually has aplastic anemia, and Hillary is an example of hundreds of patients across Canada who do need a stem cell transplant. So in a case like Hillary's, where usually the physician would first search the patient's family, and 25% of patients are fortunate enough to find a match within their own family. But for those patients who don't have a match within their family, they're reliant on an unrelated donor. And you're much more likely to find a donor within your own ancestral or ethnic background. That's why we're really trying to build an adult stem cell registry or a cord blood bank that's reflective of the unique diversity that we actually have here in Canada. When the Cortland unit comes to our manufacturing facility, it undergoes a number of testing and typing that we would do to make sure a unit qualifies to be put in the bank. So we would test for things like infectious disease marker testing, we would test for ABO, and then we actually process the cord blood unit. So during the processing, we separate out the red cells and the plasma, and we keep just the stem cell component of the blood. After the volume of cord blood gets volume reduced and we now have the stem cells that we're interested in, we would take that unit, add a cryoprotectant to protect it from freezing injury, and then it goes into one of our freezers. And this here is an example of one of the freezers that we have that we use to store cord blood. And we've had examples of cord blood units that have been frozen and transplanted after 20 years of storage. When a cord blood unit uh, is selected for transplant, we would remove it from the freezer and send it in something that we call a dry shipper. This is a dry shipper over here. And in this dry shipper, this dry shipper holds liquid nitrogen temperatures for up to seven days. So by doing this, we can then transport the cord blood unit anywhere in Canada or around the world to a patient who needs it for a transplant. Every little bit helps. We encourage people to consider um, making a donation to Canadian Blood Services because all of these donations do help save lives.